Okay, so let's start. Um, what I tend to do when I start my designs, um, I create two layers. The first layer I call POIs, points of interest. Um, oops, I've misspelled it. <coughs> and you will see it's quite easy to change the layer's name. I simply click on the name. Um, my second layer here, I'm going to basically just call high level. Let's say high level layer. And I use the high level... <laughs> um, the high level layer to keep track of my overall direction as well as my overall distances that I intend to do. <coughs> um, sorry about that. So um, let's start with uh, the first thing is I'm gonna gonna load on a couple of points of interest that I know that um, that I find of, of interest and that I am gonna visit. The one is is Angie's G spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to to have all the points of interest <coughs> on the same layer. You will see you can select a layer a, a quick add-on to the use of layers you can only have 10 layers in google my maps and in other words the idea of the layers is not necessarily to have each layer represent each day's route because if you've got more than 10 days um, you'll run into trouble but the the idea with the layers is that you can turn the layers on and off in other words if you think about how you develop your route, you can actually say hide all the points of interest because there might be too many and they might be cluttering up the screen. And all you do is you basically click on hiding the layer. So remember the function of layers is to group um, portions of the route that you might want to hide or make visible. <coughs> so to add on to my points of interest, I'm going to select the layer by clicking on it. And now I'm going to add on a couple of... Um, other areas. The first one is um, Makadot. Um, Makadot Caves. Um, there we go. Makadot Caves is in Bavihans, on the Bavihans route. I remember someone said remember to, to go there. And what I'll do is I'll search for it as you've seen I've done now. And once it shows Makadot, I can look at it. I can also zoom out obviously. But I can also say add this to my map. And because I'm standing on the POIs, if I click on it, it basically adds Makadot as a as a pin <coughs> to my points of interest um, layer. I can then also, let's say I'm still on my points of interest, I actually want to visit Sutherland. There we go, Sutherland Hotel actually is um, exactly what I'm looking for. I'm going to add that on and let's say I also, I'm going to um, go through the hell, oh yes, um, the hell. <coughs> The Helgamkas Kloof is one of the big stuff. So, so this is just to sort of a high level three points of interest that I'm going to look at. Now, I'm going to clean that. If I zoom out, you will see. Let's just go further. Come on, update, update. There we go. So you can see my points of interest there. So I'm basically going to sort of travel this route and from my home. But I can also. Ooh, I'm a little bit zoomed out too far. If I look at Pretoria, I live in Centurion. So let's say I'm just going to basically say, show me Centurion. And, and I'm going to do, let's say the Centurion Golf Estate. I'm not, not going to go into detail of my address. But let's say Centurion Golf Estate is going to be my start point and my end point. Um, I'm going to select that. And I'm going to add that to the map as well. Now something I want to show you, <coughs> on the left hand side here of my screen, you will see I've got my POI, um, or the, 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 at least the four points that I'm gonna do here, but you'll see they all share the same icon, the pin icon, and I might want to change that because I want to distinguish, if I'm on my GPS, it's, it's sometimes easier to distinguish if the icon shows you um, what type of points of interest it is. Now, Angie's G-Spot is a campsite, same as Makadot and same as Sutherland. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on Angie's, it's going to show it to me down here, but I can also click there. You'll see on the right hand side, there's a little paint scan. If I click on that, have a look here. I can change the um, color of the icon. I can also change the actual icon. So here yeah, they've got popular icons, but I'm going to go to more icons because I'm looking for camping. So I'm going to select there and I'm just going to say camp. And what's great is Google has actually categorized all the icons. A little caravan, a little campfire and a little tent. So I'm going to make... <coughs> Um, Angie's G-Spot a little orange then the same as Makadot now I've got this as an icon so I can just I'm gonna use all the same colors for my um, campsites and there we go and Centurion Golf Estate where I'm starting I'm gonna make that um, red 
but I'm going to put that as a home icon. Okay, there you can see. Now if I zoom out, I can actually see the details of the home. And I tend to do my maps in a lot of detail so that you can easily identify it. You end up, if you do a route like this, you actually end up with quite a lot of points of interest um, as well as routes. <coughs> now before we go on, let's just do our basic route planning. So the intention of my route is to, I still don't know exactly what I, how I'm going to go down and back and I don't really know how many days. So I'm, I'm taking you through an actual route. I have ridden this route. I've ridden portions, big portions of it. I've been to Babyance a couple of times in the hell. Um, but again, I don't want to redo the route that I've done before. So this is really a route that I'll share with you guys and you guys can actually um, navigate it. So next thing, I'm just going to do my high level line of where I want to visit. And for that, I want to change my layers. So I'm clicking on the left hand side, high level layer, because now I'm going to basically do my first route. And, and we're going to use the, the, the best tool, I think best thing since slice break, and that is the draw add a line tool. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to select it. I'm going to stand on my Pretoria home and I'm going to click. <coughs> and this is a question of click, 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 click through. I can also zoom in while you'll see while I've got the line, I can zoom in. I can also hover close to the edge of the screen to make the map move. And I can basically go in. Now I know I'm going to go to probably, I think probably state level. And then um, we're going to go down to, I know Bavians, there we go, the Bavians is about there, but just, just high level. I'm going to, I know I'm going to go to Potenzi, I'm going to then maybe Makadots, then we're going to go to Angie. See, now I'm running out of space, so I'm going to hover my mouse a little bit to the left. I'm going to go to <coughs> um, Lanesburg, Sutherland, and back home. Uh, let's just come on, there we go. To the right, you can zoom out again. And come on, there we go. Okay, I'm not going to click on the on the dot because otherwise it makes it a, a solid polygon. I'm just going to click on the left and say enter. So that's my first line, and I'm going to call it high level. And you'll see on the left hand side it's now part of my layer, and I'm going to change its color to nice blue, and it'll make it a little bit thicker. Because this is actually my benchmark. I, I usually do a black line as the, the so let's do it black. <coughs> now what's really cool is if you look at the line, I can select the line by clicking on it. Um, it will show me, it will select it on the left hand side. But if you look at the, the pop-up that comes up, it immediately shows me the distance of the whole route. As well as all the tools that I can do to delete, add on photos edit the line or then um, change the style of the line so the style is to change the colors and the the thickness um, i tend to do about there and what's also cool is while it's in edit mode if i click edit i just take just close the window you will see the little um round dots those are your editing nodes that you can now move and change the little nodes so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take my start and end just close to the same one there we go <coughs> And I want to show you something really cool, um, and that is that if you, uh, every time you click, there's a little um, big round circle. But Google's got to this really cool way of, of um, I don't know what they call it. They, it basically puts a temporary node in the middle to show you you can click and drag it. As soon as you click and drag, it creates that node and it halves the other two. And this technique I find extremely easy to to use and develop routes now because all i do is i can create the high level one and then literally take the node and just drag it and it's it halves the next line so i know i'm going to go to bloemfontein let's say now i can see i'm going to go to colesburg um, it looks like i'm going through to graf net there's i can and you can see as i click the route it creates more detail it, crea it, it basically keeps on splitting the line and it actually builds up to a, a proper um, detailed route that you can follow. So the idea, I'm going to go into that a little bit later. And I just want to show you on this side, looks like we're probably going to go to Kimberley, um, Carnarvon. <coughs> I was actually thinking of rather doing Loxton here. So on, our, on this map, you can actually see that the main routes are marked. And then your smaller routes, as you zoom in, they are the R routes, like R3, uh, R63 and stuff. And then being Google Maps, 
you've got more details if i actually zoom in there that looks that white line i, I think you guys can see it the white line is actually the route i'm probably going to take and that means i'm actually going to go to carnafon because it looks this this looks now i'm working on the high level route the high level route is not the one i'm going to navigate this is just so that I've, I've got my overall itinerary okay so i think that's a good representation of the high level route i'm going to do and this now i'm going to just click outside to unselect it <coughs> and i want to show you how i then use google sheets in parallel to to this um to uh to, to create my itinerary and my distances so let me quickly shoot over onto google